everyone, this is Mindy Egan for Lawn Fawn, and in today's video, I'm going to be using the Magic Iris Holly Wreath Add-on as my focal point. Some of the products I'm using today is the Merry Mistletoe, the Christmas Before and Afters, the Magic Iris Holly Wreath Add-on, and then the Paper Packs Favorite Flannel and Spiffier Speckles. I'm only going to be using one image off of the Christmas Before and Afters stamp set, and that is the image of these two mice under the mistletoe kissing. So I have a piece of Express It cardstock that I'm going to stamp the image down in using the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, and I'm going to be coloring it in with my Copic markers today. So after I have this image stamped down twice to make sure that my black lines are nice and crisp, I can start coloring in the image. So I'm going to be using E57, E55, and E53. I did bring out a 51, but I decided not to use it. So I'm going to be putting the shadow areas on the outside parts of the mice. So for this mouse right here, I put my darkest area on the left-hand side. And for this guy, my darkest color, which is the E57, is going to go on the right-hand side. So that way, my highlight or my light source is going to be right down the center. For their bellies, I'm going to use R01 and R02 and also use one of those colors to fill in the ears and the nose. So this image is so super quick to color up and I used very minimal amount of markers. I did bring in a light green to fill in the leaves, but I'm going to leave the berries white on the mistletoe. Then I brought in a little bit darker of a pink to give one of them a pink cheek. I'll use the coordinating die to die cut out my image, which is also going to keep my mistletoe separate. And while I was die cutting, I die cut another set just from some plain white cardstock and layer these together behind the image and also the mistletoe just to give it some stability. And I like to use my tweezers and my liquid glue to do this. Next, I'm going to take the Magic Iris Holly Wreath add-on and I'm going to die cut it from some Noble Fur cardstock. I'm also going to die cut it from some cilantro cardstock and some plain white cardstock. Then I'll take my craft pick and just kind of go around the edges and poke out the holly wreath. My plan is to layer these all together starting with the white in the back, then the lighter shade of green which is the cilantro and then the noble fur. I'm going to add berries to my wreath and I decided to die cut these out of a red glitter cardstock. I did have some up top with the holly leaves and the holly berries, but I decided to leave those off for right now and just go with these smaller berries that are going to be sticking out. And the red sparkle cardstock is just going to be great to add a little bit of shimmer and sparkle. So there are three sets of these and I'm just going to add a little dab of liquid glue to them, pick them up with my embellishment wand and place that over the top. Then for the front of my card, I'm going to use a light colored pattern paper from the Favorite Flannel Paper Pack, and I'm going to use one of the dies out of these small stitched rectangle stackables. That's going to give me a really nice stitched edge around that front panel. And then to help me kind of line this up on the front of the card, I'm going to go ahead and glue my wreath together. So I'm only adding glue right to the back of that ring. And I'm going to add these on top of each other. So I have the white, the light green, and the dark green. And then you can always kind of zhuzh those up too to make it a little bit more dimensional. For my main panel, I'm going to use another piece of that pattern paper from the favorite flannel set. And this time I went with a green. I was in a very green and just festive, traditional Christmas color kind of mood. So that's going to be my back panel. I die cut out a bow using the Merry Mistletoe die set. That I die cut out of chili pepper cardstock. I like to add an extra piece of cardstock behind my pattern paper to give it a little stability, especially if I'm going to be using foam tape. So I have a piece of scrap paper that I cut to be just a little bit smaller than this front panel that's got the stitching around the edge, added tape runner to that and attached those two. I created a side folding card base that I'm going to add the green pattern paper to. The green pattern paper I just trimmed out with my paper trimmer. I didn't add any additional stitching to it. So I added my tape runner to my card front and then added my green plaid. My smaller rectangle, I can then take some foam tape and add that behind there, just trimming off with my scissors. And I can remove the backing and place this over the top. I really love this color combination with these two plaids together. 
before I add my wreath or anything to the front of the card, I am going to bring my wreath over to my splatter box. I have some white paint that I diluted with water and I'm going to splatter that all over my wreath and my berries. I'll set that off on the side to dry and I'm going to work on my sentiment, which also comes off of the Christmas before and after stamp set. So I have a piece of chili pepper cardstock that I'm going to prep with an anti-static powder tool. I'm going to ink up my sentiment with the Lawn Fawn Yeti pigment ink, stamp that down, and then I'm going to sprinkle on the white embossing powder. Then I'll bring that over to my heat tool, make sure that that is warmed up so it's nice and hot, and then come in and melt the embossing powder. I'm going to trim this sentiment out with the Everyday Sentiments banner, and I'm going to make it so that I have the flags on both ends of the sentiment. Now I can start attaching my card. So I'm adding liquid glue once again just to that very outer edge of the ring. The rest of it, I left the leaves and everything so they're not attached. That way you could zhuzh those up and just kind of add some fluff maybe to your wreath. The circle that was left over from one of my die cut pieces is what I'm going to use for the center of this to create my focal point. So I added some foam tape behind that. While I had the foam tape out, I did also go ahead and add it to my banner. And then I'm also adding it to my mice. Now I know it may seem like a lot of foam tape, but there really isn't, it's not super thick. So there isn't a ton of dimension on here, just enough to create some separation in my background. So I added my mistletoe and then that bow, I will also put a little bit of foam tape. So it's popped up a little bit off of the wreath and you can still see my mistletoe hanging down. And next I have my sentiment. So I place that right underneath my wreath. Off screen, I did add a couple white gel highlights to my mice, but I'm going to call this good. I thought with the texture of the white paint and a little bit of that sparkle from the glitter cardstock, I think this was just enough embellishing. I hope you enjoyed today's card project. Thanks so much for joining me.